Hey lovely people, it's great to be back with you today. My name is Brian Steele, and I have the privilege of being the pastor at Hazel Park United Methodist Church and St. Paul United Methodist Church in Bloomfield Hills. Today's five-minute message is all about the deadly sin of greed. When I think of greed, the story that comes to mind is when a man who was legitimately seeking after God and trying to understand God um, goes to Jesus and asks him, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And this man tells Jesus he's kept all the commandments. Um, don't commit murder. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't give false testimony. Don't cheat. Um... Basically, this guy has avoided all the don'ts, um, but he hasn't, that's all he's done. He's just avoided sin. He hasn't um, done the good that Jesus is, Jesus calls all of us to. Because when Jesus tells him what he is lacking, he says, Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor. And this man was shocked dismayed, uh, and he was saddened. Um, so here's how I see this passage. Um, and I think there's actually a connection we have between um, greed and gluttony and lust that we talked about last week. Um, this man's possessions weren't the problem. It was that he was possessed by his possessions. Um, his relationship with his possessions. Um, that's again like last week, um, sex and food are some of God's greatest gifts, but it's our relationship with those things that can be problematic. It was this man with, in his relationships, his connection, his um, obsession over his possessions that actually kept him in chains. Um, that's what greed is. Um, it's when our identity becomes wrapped up, tied up with our possessions. Um, Rebecca DeYoung defines greed as excessive acquisition and excessive retaining of money or possession. So greed is when we seek to have and we seek to keep. Greed is essentially when we value possessions and profits more than people. When we can't imagine living without our possessions. And that our possessions keep us from loving and caring for people. Uh, that's what's going on here with this rich young man in the story with Jesus. He couldn't imagine life without his possessions. And what's sad here is that it was actually his attachment to his possessions that kept him from being free. His possessions were like a home arrest bracelet that kept him stuck where he was at. This young ruler was not willing to give himself um, a life of freedom. So I think Jesus is inviting us to be free from greed to hold our possessions, our money, loosely. It's okay to have possessions, but when we are able to hold them loosely, not with that death grip on it, we are free to give them away. The antidote to greed isn't generosity. That's the result of the antidote. The antidote to greed is to hold our possessions in money loosely. Um, friends, neither money nor possessions makes us worthy. Um, God has created us with intrinsic worth just because we exist. We don't have to do anything to earn that. And we, when we realize our intrinsic worth, um, we are able to hold our money and possessions loosely and be free from greed. So that's the invitation today. Hold possessions loosely. In generosity, a life free from greed is the result of it. 
So friends, that's it for today's five minute message. I'll see you back here on Thursday as we end this series on the seven deadly sins with pride. Go and be loose and know that you are beloved just as you are.